Welcome to the Vegas Insider Channel here on YouTube as we take a look at Thursday night football to kick off week seven in Cleveland. It's the Browns and the Broncos hooking up. Kevin Rogers with you. Both these teams at three and three, both in desperate need of a win. Denver has dropped three straight since a 3-0 start. The Browns are coming off back-to-back -back ugly defensive performances and losses to the Chargers and Cardinals the last two weeks. The Browns are beat up at running back as well as Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb both possibly won't play Thursday night for Cleveland. And also Baker Mayfield, he's got a bum shoulder. But the Browns, though, looking to rebound from a loss to undefeated Arizona. And teams have fared well this season after playing the Cardinals. In fact, 4-0 against the spread, 3-1 straight up. The only loser was Jacksonville, who blew a 14-0 lead at Cincinnati in a Thursday night loss. But teams, after playing Arizona this year, four of them have covered against the number. The only one that hasn't played is San Francisco, who is uh, coming off the bye, and they're back at it this week against Indianapolis. Also, some numbers about Thursday night football. Now, home favorites have not covered yet on Thursday night football. They're 0-3 against the spread. But favorites are 6-0 straight up, only 2-4 against the spread. Tampa Bay had a big lead against Philadelphia last week, and they didn't end up covering. But the favorites have done well from a straight-up perspective so far on Thursday night football. Now on the flip side with the Denver Broncos, first time they're listed as an underdog this season. They're 3-3 three and three against the spread. They beat the Jets, Jags, and Giants. First three games, not impressive. They played better competition the last three weeks. They lost to the Ravens, Steelers, and the Raiders. Now in the last three weeks for Denver, going into the fourth quarter, they trailed Baltimore 17-7. They were down 18 at Pittsburgh before making a comeback and still lost to the Steelers. And Denver trailed Las Vegas 34-10 this past Sunday before putting up two touchdowns in a 34-24 uh, defeat to the Raiders. So Denver has not had strong offensive performances over the last few weeks. So for my best bet, I'm going to lay the points with the Cleveland Browns coming up on Thursday night. And yes, the Browns have injury problems. They have not been good defensively. Neither has Denver. I mean, Denver's numbers were really good the first few weeks. So they've stepped up in competition and they've allowed 84 points in the last three games. I'm going to take the Cleveland Browns here to rebound at home to beat Denver, cover, and continue this streak of favorites now going to 7-0 and on the season in Thursday night games. I want to tell you about BetMGM. They are the king of sports books and a great promo going on right now for new customers only. Bet $10 to win $200 if your team scores a touchdown. Bet on any NFL money line. And if your team scores a touchdown, you'll receive an additional $200 in free bets for new players only. Must be 21 years or older to play and legal in the following states, Arizona, New Jersey, Indiana, Colorado, Tennessee, West Virginia, Iowa, Virginia, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Washington, D.C. Full terms and conditions apply. Bet MGM, they are the king of sports books. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Vegas Insider. And we'll have plenty more best bet videos for the NFL for week seven. Colts and 49ers Sunday night in San Francisco. And then on Monday night, the Saints and the Seahawks close things out in Seattle. You can find those best bet videos there later in the week. I am Kevin Rogers. Thanks a lot for watching and best of luck with your bets.